Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Caravan Batters. <laughs> so we are uh, just boarded the Euro Tunnel for our next trip. Yay. So we have decided this time to be a bit more adventurous. Yeah. So we are going to go across to France. Uh, first night, oh, first stop, um, we're going to go to Luxembourg. We found out where the site is, but we haven't booked anything. So we're going to. Oh, no, it's sure. So camping. I'm Al. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll put it on the screen here. Um, so that's our first stop. We're going to probably stay there for about two or three nights, I'm guessing, um, get into the holiday, and then decide where we're going to go from there, look up Axi on the app, and uh, yeah, take it from there. We haven't even booked the vets for the return because we don't know where we'll be. So uh, this is a bit more of an adventure than we normally <laughs> do, haven't even booked. We got to Calais um, through the Euro Tunnel about. 11.30? Yeah. 11.30 yesterday. We then uh, had a really easy drive down. Didn't One get held road, up at all. It? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so we got into the Estesur campsite. Got here about half past four. All set up. We were nearly set up and the heavens opened. We got absolutely <laughs> drenched and we were like... <laughs> well, <laughs> we were... Uh, uh, we got uh, uh, about an hour later it stopped raining again so I'm going up. as you can see around us it's, it's also a changeable it seems to be the theme of the year this year <laughs> weather is changeable no matter what country you go to so <laughs> so yeah it's about it's probably about 15 degrees at the moment getting to a high of 18 degrees and this is where what day is it Bank holiday Monday in August. Yeah, so the last bank holiday in August. So uh, weather should be better than this. But apparently next week there's a heat wave coming. So they say. So we'll uh, we'll see what that brings. So last night we walked into the village. The Vestershire. You can see here, stopped and had a beer. So we're going to walk further around the river to Inciborne. Yeah, hoping to have lunch at a dam. I'm going to go now because it's now a lorry coming through the tunnel. As you can see. Well, we just got to the top of the hill. That's the sure. Etch, we think it's etch, and turn the camera around. There's a big dam, so there's a hydroelectric dam. So that's on this side, and then the lake on this side. So we're walking down the other side of the barrier and we just, the grass was soaking wet and there's still a long way to go. Cars come bombing past. So we've decided to look, re look at the map. So we're not going to go to that. We're not going to go to that uh, village anymore. We're going to come off, go off into the hills on a footpath we found. Claire and Bonnie are already waiting for us. And we're going to walk all the way back round to Etchesa, but it's probably, I'm guessing, three or four miles on tracks like these. So, see how we get on. Okay, so we're following the blue book sign. So, uh, <coughs> looks like we're going to have more of an adventure now, rather than just following the road. <laughs> well, you, you can navigate the signs. Uh, and you can also jump over all these trees that are falling oh, down up here. <laughs> We've just walked from down there 
all the way through the valley to the end, back up this road, and then we've got to work our way past Chubbley's here, where they've had a lot of rain recently. A lot of the trees have fallen down, so they don't think their roots are very deep. So a lot of the trees have fallen. Well, it's a lovely walk through the woods. So we've just come uh, back out and we'll be back onto the main road in a minute where we started. And then we're going to walk into Etchtashur, have another bit of a look round, get maybe a drink, find a bench to eat our rolls and crisps on. I'll pack up. Excellent. Hello. Hello. Well, yes, we are in t-shirts and there is a little bit of sun in the sky. So we've uh, had a hell of a plan, really. I suppose it all changed. We, we've been spontaneous. We, yes, so, so the whole idea of this holiday is adventure. So we haven't booked anything and we thought we'd just become a motorhome and travel not booked, turn up at sites and then <laughs> as you turn, meter caravan. <laughs> yeah, turn up at sites and then as you uh, turn up you just say have you got room they say yeah we've got plenty it's off season and then you continue on your way well so we decided we got to Luxembourg um, weather was absolutely awful you'd have seen we had a couple of hours of not too bad weather and um, we did a fantastic day. walk yeah. stamping a mile Nice site, three stars, um, not as nice as the last one we stayed in Luxembourg, but that was five stars, so you can see the difference. Lots of um, permanent pitches, which always kind of makes the place look a bit tattier, but still nice, along the river, great, um, nice walks, so we did all that, um, but then in the afternoon we were back at the caravan and we thought, if the weather doesn't improve, the weather came in because we're in a valley, the weather just stuck. St yeah, <laughs> stuck in there. And the you couldn't see the top of the hills because of the mist. We thought we'd move on, so we packed up, paid for the two nights, which wasn't too bad. It was 41, no, 42, 42 euros, so 21 euros a night with electric and everything. So that was fine. Um, we left with a plan to go to Severn. So Severn is not as far as St um, Strasbourg. 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 Um, we'd looked it up previously and it looked all right. So we, the mistake perhaps we made was not researching it enough. So Claire then looked up a review as we were about to leave and it was awful. So this then, do you read the reviews or do you not? So anyway, we set off, so we set off uh, we got to a services and had lunch, it was all very nice, easy drive, uh, about 140 miles. And then we thought we'd stop off with about 20, 30 miles to go at services. And then Claire said those words was, well, since we've had a good run, should we go to Strasbourg instead? So we're like, right. I feel like a good idea at the time. So we thought, right, so we uh, 
had a cup of coffee and we thought right let's look up where in Strasbourg we can stay and as Claire was searching she realized for the site that we were looking at and for being in Strasbourg you needed a city sticker for the emissions which you have to pre-order uh, before you go we didn't have so that was that out the window so we thought no problem at all it's only an extra I think it was an extra 60 miles to Colma and Colma is somewhere I've always wanted to go you see it lots on YouTube and I've always wanted to go there there's a campsite you can stay in uh, camping Colma which is just down the road one and a half mile walk along the river into Colma perfect so we carry on forget the first idea carry on to Colma Got get, all excited, just carried on then, didn't we? Yep. Didn't, didn't think about doing anything else. So we go to Colma and pull up on the site and there's about three motomes in front of us all queuing up to get on the site. Well, no problem, so we queued. Claire got out and went and saw the uh, person and uh, it's about four, quarter past four now. And um, they said, no, sorry, we're full. What? Full for everyone of us. So no caravans, you can no. only fit camper vans in. So uh, apparently, I think it's because because we're a car. So we we've assumed we have the same ability as motorhomers, but because we've got the car and the caravan, we need a bigger pitch. So therefore, they couldn't squeeze us on anywhere. <clears throat> so he said, "No, sorry, a fall," and gave us. It must happen a lot because he then produced a list of campsites local. The second one we rang which was 11 kilometers away, was in a place called? Trukheim. Trukheim. Um, and, and we're in the region of? Alsace. Alsace region. So that's a pretty region. Where a lot of the wine comes from, lots of vineyards. So anyway, we phoned them. Um, they had one pitch left, which was big enough. But as we knew, we'd seen lots of caravans being turned away from the one we were at. So we just asked them if they'd hold it for us. Could you hold it for us? How far away are you? So we told them we're 11 kilometers away. So they said, yeah, we'll hold it. So I think they would have held it for half an hour or something. So we got there and they knew all about it. They let us on and we had a pitch for the night. So I think it's probably from having the drive around the other place and where we're staying, it looks on where we are, maybe even a better campsite than the yeah. previous one. The only difference is um, Camping Colma is a 1.6 mile walk along the river into Colma, where we're staying, which I'll put the name up here, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, is a four and a half mile walk into Colma, which doesn't bother us, we're quite happy with that. Um, we've checked the maps and we found, we've just gone through the vineyards and we found the smaller roads to go on rather than the main roads, so it's all... Uh, it's all looking good so i think we're going to plan to stay here for a couple of nights and then move on to the possibly the black forest but again we don't know yet but we're going to plan it and book it before but we yes. leave <laughs> yeah, yeah this time we're going to ring ahead and uh, let them know we're coming make sure they've got room well we've made it to colma so that was an easy walk about an hour and a half it took us and we are now in colma it's beautiful There's a uh, indoor market up here, so we might try and get inside, but I'm not sure if dogs are allowed, so we'll go and have a look. Looks wicked. <laughs> Carl the organ just saw me uh, videoing, so we up the tempo. Just got back, sun shining, it's four o'clock. Just been and bought a couple of ice creams as a well done to us. And somebody walked into reception to be told the site's full. So uh, it's obviously a very busy time of year around here at the moment, even though it's low season. Hello. Hello. 
So we've uh, got to the Black Forest in Germany. So we arrived yesterday, easy run, an hour and a half, two hours, and uh, we're staying in a place called Wolfat. Wolfat? Yeah. Wolfatch. I think it's pronounced Wolfa. And uh, see the scenery behind us? It's lovely. So we're uh, hoping to stay here, well, we're going to stay here for probably four nights. Um, this is the furthest down we've come. Um, so we'll, after this, we'll head back north and pick up somewhere else. But again, nothing <laughs> planned yet because in the adventurous way we're doing it, <laughs> which we think we like, but uh, we yeah. are planners, so it's quite hard going. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's beautiful here. We had walked down to the town after arriving yesterday. The campsite's great. Showers are the most powerful showers oh, we've had fantastic. ever. So that's nice, oh. thanks change. Another day in the Black Forest. So today we are 5k walk into Shiltak. It's uh, 20 degrees at the moment, at 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's getting up to about 26 today. So that should be nice. We found the sunshine at last. <laughs> We've just stopped at a lovely piece of uh, the Black Forest Gatto. So I said a piece. <laughs> so the, uh, the local piece of Black Forest Gatto made on the premises and had lots of alcohol in it. Is it Kirsch? Yes. Kirsch, the cherry liqueur. But it was oh. fantastic. <laughs> that sneaky beer and Clara de Mint tea. Morgan. Well, this is our penultimate day in the Black Forest. We, we did it the first evening we came, we walked the lower road and the quickest, where the lady on reception said there's a nice walk if you go up with panoramic views. We're going to go down to Wolf Hatch and then we're going to get some money out because I think the next campsite which we booked, you'll be pleased to know, <laughs> we are. We found a site where you could book online still in Germany, um, called Camping Wolf. Yeah, Wolf seems to be the thing. Yeah, Camping Wolf, <laughs> um, which is in the Rhineland. It's a kind of right of right Luxembourg. On the yeah, so on the, the Moselle River, which apparently, again, is beautiful. Well, we made it. So there's <laughs> Wolf Thatch behind. Uh, we've, from the campsite to here is about four and a half miles because we went up through all the forest as you've but seen. All under the trees, it's been but lovely. It's, yeah, it's a hot day and we've been in the shade. Still warm, 27, but been in the shade, so it's been lovely. So we're now going to have a walk around and maybe get a drink. Hello. Hello. I'm oh, just going to leave the uh, campsite. We're going to have a wander into Traventrabac. Traventrabac. And then we're going to uh, go back to uh, walk to the vets first so we know where it is for Thursday. Oh. Claire's got all the directions, so that's good. <laughs> and then we're going to walk into the town and see what's there.
Hello. Hello. Well, we've left Trebentrebac. Trebentrebac in the uh, well, Moselle, Moselle River. River. And we've driven a long drive today, probably five, six hours. Yeah, I think it was five hours in the end, 200 hours, miles, but lots of... Lots of traffic through Brussels, and the ring road around Brussels was just solid. It took us a long time. But we got here, got set up. It's just 32 degrees today. I think in the car it went up to 34 and a half at one point. So it's warm. So we decided to leave it till the evening and come out to um, Ghent, which apparently isn't Ghent, isn't... Hmm. It's Ghent. Well, Ghent, I think is the pronunciation, but... It's English, I'm very good at pronunciations. <laughs> um, so we're just waiting. We're told there's a free shuttle bus. Thank you. So we've just uh, got the shuttle. 15 and minutes. 15 minutes yeah. into Ghent. Ooh. We're now going to just have a wander on it, see where we are. Yeah, Might have a look at the map and work out where we are so we know okay. we have to come back. Okay. Let's turn the camera around so you can see our little uh, shuttle bus. All right, let's go explore. Just worked out it's a university town and uh, it's Friday night and it's very lively isn't it love? It's party night! It's great, it's a real good atmosphere here, all the bars are busy, and you've got posh places and beer places and burger places, it's all great, really nice atmosphere. We've got a nice shady pitch because it's going to be 32 degrees today and we are going to stay around the campsite today. Morning. Sorry, yes. Morning. <laughs> uh, going to stay around the campsite today. It's um, so it's going to be hot. We went into town last night, which was really enjoyable. Lovely down that time of day. So yeah. And this is our last day of the holiday because we go back home tomorrow. So we're going to have one last chilled out day. So we're in uh, this city camping place called Urban Gardens. Um, it used to be called something else, but I can't pronounce it, but I'll put that on here. You may have realised that we didn't do as, as much videoing along the Moselle River as normal. And there's a reason for that. So I think uh, at one point we left you where we'd walked around Tarbac, uh, Trebek, um, on the two towns, and then we walked back. We then set up for the afternoon and uh, just have a lazy afternoon. And Claire saw two people coming out. Claire saw two people coming out of the uh, river, and uh, they were they'd been in for a swim. So. Uh, I thought, oh, let's just go and, just go and test the water just to see how warm it is and see whether that's something I can do. If anyone's to blame, it's probably Philly and Keeley from chapter by chapter. Um, they say you never regret a swim. I went to see how warm the water was, had my crocs on, and walked down the slipway, put my foot into the river, and then once I had, uh, I thought, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. 
so uh, took another step on the slipway and now I know why they're called slipways <laughs> so it's, it's the angled bit of concrete that goes down into the water I'm normally so careful on these kind of things but this time I wasn't and uh, put my foot on foot went from under me straight back smashed my head on the concrete and split my head open so I didn't realize so I I hit my head and then I slid down on all the algae and everything into the water and uh, my head was still above the water um, but it was like felt a bit silly because of falling over as you do um, got up and held the back of my head because it hurt and then a lady from one of the pitches nearby started shouting and screaming at me and I was like what so uh, I said yeah I know silly me bang my head and she was like no look look and I looked down and the whole of my chest and down my legs was just red with blood luckily for us well I say us luckily for me for us. Well, I us because it meant Claire didn't have <laughs> to do it <laughs> the uh, people in the pitch next to us were from the Netherlands and used to both work in a hospital I mean for all I know they could have been janitors I don't know but they That'd seemed to know what they would do that's the reason so uh, he's not, not allowed out of my sight now <laughs> So what do you think of it then, love? It's a really, really good site, a combination of both. Yesterday was a free shuttle bus, five minute walk from the site. Yeah. And then 10 minutes into the centre of Ghent. And then today we thought, oh, we'll just wander around. But <laughs> look, it's absolutely gorgeous. So for Very a nice. stopover site, I think it's definitely one. Hour and a half from Calais. Yeah. So Brilliant. Definitely. Ghent, lovely. So even if we come in, and don't want to go into Ghent, just be here, but no, very, very good.